quite obvious Sunderland looking for this quick switch of play. They are. Ledbetter looking in behind. Line. Oh. Alex Nicholson takes charge at the end. Well, there, Nicholson taking charge, puts it out for a throw, and a little bit of danger there for uh, Gateshead. That's JJ down there. Look, he's not uh, he's not happy at all. But uh, no, um, Nicholson's done well there. Yeah, so it is Greg Ollie, one of Gateshead, key players over the last two seasons, will come on to replace JJ O'Donnell. It's pretty much like for like. Uh, Ollie will play it in a, in a slightly advanced midfield role, just playing off uh, Jordan Preston. As you mentioned, Maguire, plenty of time just inside his own half. Looks to switch it again. Great ball out wide to Denver Hume. Denver Hume skips past the man. Hume now approaching the edge of the, the Gateshead area. Plays it inside to Elliot Ambleton, but he's beaten in the ball. It's gone back to Hume. Offside. Put it back down. So we're playing on again, and it's Embleton with a shot, and it's easily taken. The well, Bradford. they will, that's right. And, and they will play, you know, top teams in their league. That's a great Flanagan ball. Flanagan plays it forward. It's got to Denver Hume out wide. It's got to be a good ball in the box, and it certainly is. Great first touch and great effort there from Chris McGo Great first touch to bring it down with that right foot. He's spanning it with his left and just fired it narrowly wide of that near post. Throw in taken just in front of that dugout by Conor McLaughlin. Back with Bailey Wright. He's put under pressure by Jordan Preston, but Sutherland worked themselves out of a bit of corner there quite neatly. George Dobson gives the ball away. Chance here. Jordan Preston, first chance really to run. He's looking for options, hasn't got a lot on. And still hasn't got a lot on. He's trying to hold the ball up. He's done very, very well there. Plays it back to one of the trialists. He looks out wide to another trialist. Good ball into Preston. Lovely little flick to Ollie. Preston still in possession. Good this from Gateshead. Again, looking for options to Macaulay Langstaff. Langstaff, good ball in. Oh, looked like it was going to find its way through to George Smith there. Gets it still in possession. Macaulay Langstaff into a trialist. Into Preston. Great touch to Ollie. Ollie cuts inside. Oh, Ollie. Oh, oh, what a save. What a save from Lee Burge. But quality play from Gateshead. The first time we mentioned that link up. Jordan Preston and Greg Ollie. First time we've seen it and almost created the first goal of the game. Back well, to Conor McLaughlin. Into George Dobson. Plays it back to Tom Flanagan. Looks like there's a little switch in position from Gates at the back. Denver Hume again, who's started so well, breaking into the area, needs to be closed down and is checked by Alex Nicholson. Free kick given by referee Jeff Altrinham. This will be a dangerous one because there'll be plenty of options here for Sunderland. This is a chance. Looks like it's going to be Maguire with that right foot of his. Denver Hume there, looking to use his left as well. It is Maguire. It's over the wall, oh. and it's in. It's a great finish, and it's Gateshead nil, Sunderland 1. Uh, that quality there from Maguire, you know what he can do. He's done it in League 1. Unbelievable finish. That was sensational. That was real class. So, I mean, you know, with Denver Hume going down a, a yard outside the box and the quality that that lad's got there, I mean, the goalkeeper just nowhere near. Bang. Tom Flanagan brings it over the halfway line, plays it out wide to Hume. Hume. Faced up by one of Gator Trilus, plays it down the line to Elliot Embleton on that left hand side. He's got Hume inside. He's got a chance to get across in. Checks in on his right, plays it in far post, but it's cleared by one of those trialists. Poor touch from Dobson. And a great block there. Uh, another one of Gator's trialists. A chance here. There's two on one. If he plays it right, plays it through to Preston. Preston one on one. And he's rolled it in. Oh. What a calm finish that was. We were just talking about his qualities. That's a service that the Gates had striker needs, Digger. That's a wonderful, wonderful finish. A great break. Don't give it away, Sunderland. They've given it away. Three on two. Balls went to Preston there. And he's just stroked it into the corner of the net past the keeper. Nicholson's done very well. He's done very well, Nicholson. He has. I've been impressed in the two games, Mark, that he's played against Carlisle. Anthony. He's a leader, isn't he? He is. Maguire to take it from this side. It's a good ball in. It's a good header for oh, post. Oh, he's hit the post. post. Power brings it forward, gives it to... Oh, looks for movement. There's a good ball in behind George Smith. He's going to have to do well here. It's Jack Diamond trying to keep it in. Does keep it in. Will face up his former Harrogate teammate. Chance to get a cross in from Diamond. Plays it in. It's a good ball. There's no mark, man. Oh, oh, yes. What a great header from... It's a wonderful header. But again, Jack Diamond, we spoke about him. We spoke about what he could do. He's given time to get the cross in, and he's made the most of it. Well, he's he's just come on, and he's had two wonderful crosses. One that I think they should have scored beforehand, and that cross was so inviting there to get on the end of. Power in midfield. He's got Daniel out to his left. It's a good ball to Gooch. Now to Neil. Takes a touch. Checks in on his right foot. Finds Gooch again. Power demands possession, but he's ignored. It's a chance to get a shot away. Oh. 3-1. It's a great strike. 
And it's 3-1-2 Sutherland. Really taking control of this game now, Paul Dixon. Oh, brilliant finish there. The layoff was wonderful, and he just kept his head down and just stroked it low into the corner of the net. As I've said just before the goal, Sunderland have got um, you know I think a bit better quality of player on now, and they've uh, they've done really really well there. I mean, that's Good ball in. Oh, oh what a lucky! Almost a free header. Just <laughs> put inches past that. Yeah, I, I don't think he could believe that it hadn't gone in. I mean, it was a, like a, a bullet header. I seen it late and headed it. I mean, it must have gone by about six inches. Great effort. Scouring in midfield, but he's been robbed of possession. But it's careless again from Gateshead. Give possession away. But Danny Greenfield wins it back for Gateshead. Needs some movement. Finds a trialist who's done well there to skip past two challenges. Good ball in. Black out with time. He'll want to try and get a shot away. Lays it off to Ollie. Plays it out wide. Chance to face up a challenge. Oh, great save. save from the goalkeeper there. One of uh, Gator's youngsters jigged inside on that right foot and forced a great save out of out of Lee Burge. Yeah, centre backs has been your best player. You've been uh, up against it at the time, but he has. But he's uh, he's led really well, and I think Mike Williamson will be pleased because Nicholson plays as a right back or as a, a three in a back three, but uh, he's done very very well. And there is the full time whistle here at the Gateshead International Stadium. It has finished. Gateshead one, Sunderland three. Uh, Chris Maguire with a fantastic. The Black Cats ahead, but equalised by Jordan Preston with a neat finish for Gateshead. However, the second half, Sunderland's must change lines up, line up took control of the game. Uh, Will Grigg restored their lead, and then it was finished off by Josh Scowan with a wonderful finish.